teacher at Butterfield Canyon Elementary. I'm Trisha Tingey, sixth grade teacher at Butterfield Canyon. Um, and the UBI ABC project or program that we're involved with here at Butterfield Canyon has been really beneficial in the way of um, providing us professional development based for the problems that our school's having so that we can make changes. We're able to or we're provided with quick and easy trainings and given all the materials to implement the change ready so that when we go back to our classrooms, it's quick and easy and doable quickly. Great. And then more Great. importantly, when our, in our PLCs, we discuss what's not working in our professional learning communities. We're, we're learning what's not working and we're able to work with other teachers so that we can glean from them what works for them and how we can fix what, what, what's not working for us. So in other words, it, we're, it has to be a very humble community. We have to be able to work well with each other. But we come to the table saying, look, this is not working for me. What can you do to help me with this problem? How long have you been doing PLCs here at your school? We're in school? our fourth year. Mm -hmm. fourth year. We're in our fourth year. And has that changed practice in the classroom, Dramatic. being able to talk about student data? Dramatic. Tell me about your PLCs. I'm really interested in knowing more about those. Well, PLCs, um, once a month we vertically team. Mm -hmm. So um, I, d I do the math. She does the UBI portion of it. So I get together with um, grade level math people and we talk about the core and what needs to take place within each grade level to make it so that the next grade level is, is ready to go. Nice. And, nice. and the, the, I think the biggest thing that we do in those in our PLCs, especially our grade level PLCs, is to talk about kids specifically. Mm -hmm. And it's gone from talking about just what are you teaching, what am I teaching, to which kids are getting it and which kids aren't. So that the kids who are at, by data, not just by our frustration, but who passed the test, who didn't pass the test, or which pieces of the test, if they're not getting adding and subtracting fractions, or if they're not getting reducing the fractions, and then we're able to ability group the students for our reteach and enrich portion so that they're getting their needs met but on a personal level. And again, it goes back to the fact that humbly we have to come to the table and say, look, Amanda, <laughs> your, your class got this. Your class really got this. What do I need to do? How did you teach it? so that I can teach it that way to my kids. And so we learn different strategies so that I, I, when, I, when I find out that my kids aren't getting um, common denominators, I don't reteach it the same way I've done the whole time. I need to ask the other teachers. Mm -hmm. I need a different strategy. Help me with this. And so that's how we work together. So you really have to be open yes. now to feedback. There's no yes. place for being defensive no, about what no. you're doing in your Not classroom anymore. anymore. No. Not anymore. All Very the walls good. are down. <laughs> you talked about data. Tell me more about the kinds of data sources you're using. You talked about uh, student assignments, mm -hmm. uh, test scores, CRT scores possibly. What other types of data do you, do you our, use? Our own tests. We your own tests, pre okay. Pre-post-tests. Pre -post -tests. Pre -post -tests. So okay. we design as a grade level so that we can focus on specific things such as adding and subtracting fractions or, or even okay. reading levels, right. even just comprehension. Oh, okay. I mean, our kids were struggling with comprehension, and so that's what we focused on last, uh, our last term. For. And so we, and then we have a Google Doc, oh, a yeah. Google document, so that we can input all of our scores school-wide. That document is available to everyone. Okay. So we can see the progress that our kids are making on that, that document. What about behavior data? Uh, do you collect other kinds of data? Like, uh, we are. We're yeah. starting through. Okay. We have cards that we. They're okay. Oh, gosh. Are these aren't they? Like the no, they're, they're these green cards, that RTI PLC oh, cards yeah. that we oh, gather. Okay. And for our individual students who are struggling that we're working with, we are documenting that there. We're also collecting our, um, these are our 200 clubs, the positive okay. piece of the behavior data, as well as our okay. office referrals, the white slips that are the... Like the oops tickets? Yes. Those kinds of that things? That are okay. office referrals. And, and I think our tardies, well, and our tardies and our absences are part of that, that yes. data as oh, well. Oh, I saw that. Because that's okay. something that we've been focusing on, is okay. getting our tardies and absences down. Very good. Very good. Anything you want to say about Shelly Davis while I've got you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, not Anybody. Shelly. I'm just <laughs> no, I'm you know what? I, I know her well. So. People <laughs> here would walk on water oh. yeah, for her. She's, she's a good principal, yes. isn't she? No, she she's has phenomenal. a good vision. Yeah. She raises the bar every time. She yep. raises the bar every time. But helps us get there. Yeah. She, uh. doesn't just, she doesn't just say, do it. 
she says, here, here let's, let me do, let's it do this and I will help you get there and give you anything that you need and any support to get you there. Everything is we. Support would be professional development, resources, money, training, training. She, would come into your she would come in for you. Oh, and okay. teach so and demonstrate. <laughs> so, or take over your class yep. so you can attend classes. Yep. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Talk about the role of professional development at your school. Well, as we all know, most of the school wide professional development was cut dramatically. And so principals have had to be um, creative in bringing professional development into their school. So one of the things that um, we do in our school is look at the needs of the teachers and the needs of the students through the data that we are collecting. And the data is ongoing, uh, formative and summative with the students. And then the teachers, um, because of our vertical teaming, they are able to, through a smaller group size, talk about their needs among the entire staff. Our vertical teams have one or two members from every grade level. And so they'll start talking about um, the hot topics, like the Common Core and Map, and what their concerns are, what their questions are. That's brought to our collaborative leadership team. And then we talk about professional development or the professional development comes through our UBI team. And that, of course, again, is based on the data that we're collecting on the behavior of the students. Because we were in our fourth year this year, last year we implemented UBI into the classrooms, then we had the data to show where do we kind of need to tweak in the classrooms, what do we need to bring to the teachers. And the vast majority were tier two, um, tier two interventions. So that's what we did this year. But that's how we bring professional development, and that's how professional development is used. Um, how do we look at the effectiveness of the professional development in our school? With our staff, after we have an opportunity for professional development, I will just give you a random example. And that would be our CAFE approach to Tier 2 interventions for the UBI team. Um, we have sent out a survey asking which of the five interventions they are currently implementing. They will meet in their PLC teams this Friday and they will bring their data to the PLC team. So if it's on contracting with students or um, group contingencies or um, positive behavioral supports, we know which teachers have already begun to implement one of those interventions and which teachers will be bringing their data to the team. Do we have 100% participation? Nope, <laughs> we don't. And I think that's typical. Um, but we do know that it's making an impact on the students that are coming to our student intervention team because they're talking about those interventions and they're bringing the data to those teams uh, with regard to those interventions. With academic interventions or professional development, the interventions are coming through our uh, collaborative leadership team, and those are interventions that that team has gone to training uh, from Marzano or the Dufours or um, other training that I've received in Principals Academy, things like that. And then we are watching the formative assessments common assessments, the summative assessments, and looking to see where we need to beef up those programs. So the student impact is the data that they're bringing to the collaboration leadership team, and the staff impact is um, what, we were, what we are hearing and seeing in our small vertical teams and the impact that it's having on those students. Wonderful. I know that they videotaped part of what we did here with the cafe um, 
format, they had a little video going, so she's talking about what feedback I've received on uh -huh. that CAFE Tier 2 that intervention. Must, that must be it. From UPDC, the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive, and in fact, what I'm hearing from most of my staff is, and this doesn't happen often with staff, that they wish that the the time could have been an hour and 40 minutes because they wanted to go to all five, not just choose three. Hmm. And they have been so positive they would like that to happen again next year. They loved all of the presenters, but we chose expert presenters. And we only gave them, sometimes the beauty in professional development is to wet their palate and then ask them to go and research and implement and then bring back and talk about what's the next step and where should we go. So I can honestly say the palettes were definitely wet, moistened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good.